This video is about flipping the science classroom, or to be more specific, it's about how I'm blending the science classroom, to be more exact. First off, the idea is that not every class is flipped. I present much less often. Uh, students do more activities uh, in labs and whiteboarding, and there's more one-to-one -one with the kids. It's easier to review material, and there's a lot of collaboration in this. So whenever we start teaching, the first thing we start looking at is our educational goals. And what I'm thinking of is, while I'm keeping in mind the educational goals, I'm thinking of these daily educational goals. To engage 100%, deep understanding, collaboration. That's always what I'm striving for. So let's talk a little bit about class. So typically, my class is used to look something like this. Why divide what happens in the classroom with what happens at home? So if I look at my objectives, I'm given my objectives, and then I present information in the classroom, I give examples in the classroom, I show video clips in the classroom, demos, check for understanding, practice, review prior content. And there's a couple other things that go on there. It was pretty successful. And at home, right, review the prior content and practice. Now, in the blended or flipped classroom, the idea is to switch this up, to flip it. So I'm going to take my where I present information, and I'm actually going to present more at home than I do in class. So I still present in class, but just not the same. Giving examples, well, now I'm going to do that, more of that at home using technology. Video clips that I showed in class, well, a lot of them are on YouTube, so I'll just clip them there or I'll move mine to YouTube. Some of the demos, I still do those in class for various reasons. Checking for understanding, well, that's part of the cycle of learning, so I'm going to do some of that as well at home. And I'm going to review prior content, review lesson class, and something new. Because I'm spending less time in the classroom, I can spend more time doing other stuff. More activities and labs are going on in the classroom. And to achieve a lot of this, I use technology, and a lot of it happens through videos. I have nearly 500 videos online relating to the different concepts and topics I'm teaching. So just as a quick summary, I'm going to define that my blended classroom by my definition. First off, basic work is done outside the class using online text resources, animations that are online, five-minute videos. I have almost 500 of them there. Simulations contained in one place on the web, so I have a little site that I use. And through all this, after the basic work, there's some type of specific feedback provided outside class time through these unique quiz sections. So if a student gets a problem wrong in the quizzes, it tells them why it gets wrong. This is like a, a huge change, and it really helps the learning process to get that feedback outside of class so they come to class knowing that they know the material before we begin. And because of that, we'll have problems that are assigned starting off the next day's work outside of class after the verification. And in class, we spend class time doing more physics than ever while developing a strong collaboration model. It's a, it's a great class to be in, involved in.